What's up guys, it's Pat McKinley and in today's video I'm going to be That was threatening. I don't even know if this counts as cooking, but I'm going to be making guacamole I'm just really hungry and I wanted to make it and I was like why not film it? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it anyways. If I'm honest my diet is like too much avocado I just cut right into that pit. Oh my god, this pit is like soft guys. Some of like the pit crust Oh, that sounds weird. Crust. Pit crust. Oh my god, that sounds like armpit crust. Like, that just sounds disgusting. Anyway, some of like the pit outside parameter. It's stuck in it, and it. You know, it's not that bad. This is pretty decent looking avocado. If I saw it on the street, I'd be like, oh, I'm kind of cute, but I wouldn't like stop and ask for its number, you know? It's just there, you know? It's kind of like. We're out of lemon juice, I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna try to squeeze them out, you know, like it's an actual lemon. It's shaped like a lemon, so like this is what it's for. See if I can get any out. And I kind of try to make it like the one at Chipotle is really good, and that has a lot of cilantro, onion, and lemon flavor in it, so that's why I try to like mimic. And it's barely coming out. One second. I try, you know when you have a water bottle that you like, like suck the air out of it? And then it gets stuck like that, so you do that and it opens back up. That's what I just tried to do, but it didn't work. Off to a great start! <laughs> I love garlic too, and we actually have this whole thing of already peeled organic garlic from Whole Foods. I cut the little end thing off because it like scares me. Like anything that looks different, if there's a little part that doesn't look like the rest of it, it's probably not edible and it'll probably kill you. When I was young, we would, me and my family would watch like the Food Network Star Show, and they would always like cut their stuff so they'd go like that. And it would cut up like lettuce or whatever they were doing like into tiny little pieces like perfectly. And it basically just looked like they were having like a spaz with their knife in their hand, which is kind of unsafe. But like it also looks kind of professional and cool. You know, I attempted it, and instead I just got garlic all over the floor. So, to have to clean up. I love onions, and I love garlic, and they both make your breath smell like ass, but um, I brush my teeth, you know, so I feel like I'm safe from that. I'm vegan. This is 100% mountain water, spring water, which is kind of whack because it's actually 100% mountain spring water, shouldn't it come like dirty and stuff, or is it not 100%? I completely forgot. I'm actually not done with this, so I'm glad I kept this out. That was really smart of me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, um, tomatoes. Alright, this one's actually, like, kind of cute. If I had kept the top on, it'd be, like, Bob the Tomato vibe, like, perfect picture worthy tomato. Ugh, I hate cutting tomatoes. Like, look at it. It looks like slime. It's so much liquid comes out of it, and, like, the seeds. It tastes fine, but, like, it's just weird. And, like, to, like, try to get everything in that. Get everything in that. One bite. Do y'all see this? I just tried to throw with my hands instead of using my little knife trick. Tomatoes into the guacamole. From from two inches apart. Someone tell me how I missed that. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna go finish getting the seasonings out. <laughs> so we'll be right back. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Minced onion? I love minced onion. Let me get this out of the way so you can really see the process. Usually with cilantro, I put way more than that. I put so much. I put more than I put of tomatoes and onions in it. I would, I would just drown it in cilantro, you know? It's bitch disgusting. Garlic plates. I put a ton of garlic in here. That's all I did. And now, garlic granules. Be right back. Thumbnail? Ba -da -da -da. I don't know. BRB, let me get the chips. Realizing that that dramatic effect might not have been a good idea because it could have broken some chips and that's like literally the worst in the world. Here we go. Pixie, don't look at me like that. Pixie's in desperate need of a haircut, so her face Makes it weird, she has like eyebrows and she's always pissed. Like, look at this face. Look at her. Does she not look like she's gonna like hunt you? Cause she might. 
I'm so excited, guys. All right, you're gonna love it. You don't even get to try it, so I don't know why I'm like tempting you over here. See, I'm not really surprised because I make this all the time. I'm just kind of sad it's missing lemon and cilantro, but it's still really good. I'm happy. That's how you make guacamole. That's how I make guacamole. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications if you haven't already, so you know when I post, and then you can get right on it and like the video, which you should do right now if you haven't already. Like it, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media is Matt McKinley, so go and check those out if you're feeling really kind today. Thanks guys for watching. Peace out, love you, bye. Until next time, I just like four outro words. There's an energy when you hold me. When you touch